All right. Now I got one free I just pulled up. Two stuff. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Wes. This is 4x4 Rescue. Uh, we basically volunteer our time, equipment, resources to help those that are stuck. It doesn't matter where you're, where you guys are at. I run a national network of Facebook groups. They're uh, volunteer-based off-road recovery groups called 4x4 Rescue. Each state has its own page. Search your state's name with 4x4 Rescue and we will pop up. Uh, you know, for example, we have 4 by, uh, I'm sorry, Virginia 4x4 Rescue, Nevada 4x4 Rescue, New Hampshire 4x4 Rescue, and so on. Um, this is a new idea about a year or so old so some some groups are relatively small uh, others are are larger but um, the idea is there the resources are there uh, cross country nationwide if you get stuck get on the group post a picture of your stuck vehicle ask for help or if you like doing this type of stuff join we would love to have you but um, this is my YouTube channel this is what I do it's my hobby it's my passion I love it you know just helping out in general it doesn't matter if it's off-road recoveries or not I, I like to think, you know, I'm a pretty friendly guy. I try to go above and beyond to help out anybody and everybody. But this is a way that I can give back to the community. Um, you know, very prepared for these types of situations. Thanks to Rhino USA. They donated a ton of equipment for me to be able to do this. Um, you know, they supplied me with pretty much everything you see me use is a Rhino product. If you guys are in the market for off-road recovery gear, Check them out, man. They're a super solid company. Uh, they go above and beyond. And uh, their product is, is rock solid. It's all lab tested. It has real brake strength. It's not a guess. Everything is clearly labeled of, of what its capacity is. But their website is rhinousainc.com. If you enter the discount code 4x4rescue, you will get 10% off anything they have. And not only that, but all of their stuff has a lifetime warranty, which is unheard of. Almost no one else in the off-road recovery business has a lifetime guarantee on their products. So check those guys out. Super solid company, and uh, they definitely help me help everybody else. Got one. Yeah, it's a little, little soft. <laughs> we'll get it though. I'll get it. This is what we got. All the Rhino gear. This is how you do it with cars that do not have tow points. I'll show you guys how to do it. This is what we're dealing with. Super tight in here. You want to get it around this control arm. Not don't don't mess with the spring, but you loop it around the control arm. That's about the only solid spot to pull from under All here. All right. So that axle strap. This is where these things come in handy because they're flat. They can get in those tight spaces. Got it wrapped around the control arm. Make sure not to pinch any brake lines or hoses or anything. Uh, and then straight to a D-ring. Then we do the D-ring out to the tree saver. And that way the tree saver will get it out from under the car. And then we hook the tree saver to a soft shackle to the kinetic rope. I, I like using it that way because that way it gets the, the kinetic rope out from under the car half the time these things get ran over they get damaged um, and this way you're only damaging a, a cheap tree saver versus an expensive kinetic rope all right so we got it hooked up like i said tree saver to the soft shackle you never want to use a d-ring on a kinetic rope right here chances are you know if this strap breaks or something in there breaks then a d-ring it's going to go flying at me um, i speak from experience this was from a soft shackle and it did that Imagine if it was a D-ring, but uh, we got all this Rhino stuff. This is one of their new kinetic ropes, seven eighth size rope rated for 24,000 pound brake strength. So we are good to go. Also, oh yeah, I can't forget Rhino shackle, closed loop system. Nothing's gonna pop off. Only, re only way it'll pop off if something breaks, which isn't likely on this one. So I'm gonna give it a little tug and we will get her out of here. <laughs> Well, that was easy as expected. I'll get it unhooked and go find somebody else. A good old Folsom Lake.
Good old Folsom Lake. Winter time out here was pretty bad. The water level has dropped so low that a lot of stuff that, that normally isn't exposed is now, uh, you know, there's no water and it's just mud. It's a lake bed, never ending bottom. You just sink until you frame out. But uh, this winter we were averaging, you know, 10 recoveries a day out here. Then we got a little bit of rain, water levels rose back up and covered all these dry grounds. And then uh, the last, you know, few months we haven't had any rain. So now water levels dropped again and it re-exposed all these muddy areas. People come out here to hang out and they get stuck. People that don't know any better. A mixture of cars, I mean, four wheel drives, it doesn't matter. I mean, even, even my Jeep uh, gets stuck out here. I buried it two or three times. So you just gotta know what areas you can and can't drive, you know? Uh, the dark stuff is, is wet. The dry stuff is hard pack, but usually only do it once. I don't think we've recovered the same person out here twice. So they, you learn real quick what you're doing, but it's a fun place. Good times, about a hundred degrees out here, Northern California, Sacramento area. Uh, it's actually technically Folsom, but same thing, Sacramento. But uh, yeah, we'll see if we can find some more. We just got that one little Ford Fiesta or Focus or whatever it was. I'm sure by the end of the day, I will at least get one or two more. And that's what we came out here to do, just to help out where we can. I'm not doing nothing at my house. I'll just be sitting on the couch watching TV. I would much rather be out here, farting around, doing recoveries, making YouTube content. So, got another one. Let's see if this guy can get it by himself. He might, eh, flat strap. We'll see. Strap. Yeah, yeah, I do off-road recovery. I'm Wes. Justin. Nice to meet you. you too. Give it a little bit of gas. Gas it, gas it. Yeah, hold on. Yo. Oh, he, he might get. Yeah, you got four-wheel drive or no? Yeah. Put it four-wheel four drive, four low. Give it a little bit of gas with him. Is it is it running? Hold on. Oh, oh. You're in four low? Okay. Go ahead, and uh, he's going to give it a little bit of gas with you as you back up. We'll see. If he can't get you, I will. All right, gas it a little bit. No, nah, he's sinking. All right, hold on, hold on. He needs to bump it a lot harder than what he's doing. All right, go. Go, 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 gas it. All right, hold on. I'll get you. Well, I was just chilling over there and uh, I saw him looked over and I said, oh, he looks like he's stuck. But Toyota is only two wheel drive though, so he's not he's not doing too well. He needs to hit it a lot harder than, than what he is. But I'll hook up the rope to it real quick, same, same deal. And we will get it out. All right, this is how we have it. Big four inch strap to the receiver shackle, to a soft shackle, to the kinetic rope. And then we have another soft shackle to the tree saver to both toe points it's crucial you guys run off of both toe points i've seen bumpers get ripped off even when using a single toe point so if you check some of my other videos you can see it there's that one ramp hooked up to one toe point and the whole freaking bumper got ripped off but this is what we're working with he's stuck stuck <laughs> this is how you learn though i bet you he won't do it again so let's get this hit. Hopefully it'll come out in one or two pulls. guy in the tundra as much as he was willing to help you just got to commit to it a little bit harder when you're dealing with something that's uh you know stuck like that you, you gotta you gotta give it a, an aggressive pull without doing too much there's kind of a fine line if you do it too slow then you're gonna start spinning um, you're not gonna get traction and a good chance you will get stuck also um, if you hit it too hard 
you can you can do some damage, break some stuff. So there's there's kind of a fine line between how how hard you have to to tug it, but that's why the kinetic ropes are just night and day difference. Um, they allow you to build up that momentum, you know, hit it hit it with a little bit of speed, and that that's that's the difference that you need versus using a flat strap. The combination of, of both a kinetic rope and a flat strap is is a, is, a, is definitely a winner. Um, it allows you to get a little more distance that way. I'm not in the soft stuff as well. I'm on hard pack, um, but you even saw the first pull, the Jeep broke loose and was spinning tires on the hard pack. So it, it definitely was stuck, but uh, made made quick work of it. You know, it took me longer to hook up the gear than, than it did for the actual recovery. But uh, hopefully I'll find a couple more out here today. It is Sunday. The lake is actually not, there's not that many people out here. When the water level's a bit higher, this whole entire place is just jam packed car to car to car to where you can barely find a spot to get you know waterfront real estate and just to hang out for the day but um i'm sure by the end of the days we'll probably at least get two or three more recoveries so it should be a good video we already got two for the day so regardless um at least put out this video but more the better more people we can help the happier i am i just i get a kick out of it it's fun it's fun i don't know something about yanking trucks out of the mud and snow and sand i love it I'm thinking these guys over here in the minivan might be stuck. Oh, it's kind of hard to see either. They pulled up a little too close to the water's edge. It's all dark right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're stuck. So I'm going to go get them. Oh, really? That truck just got stuck. I'm trying to get out. Oh, really? Dang. Okay. All right. So same thing. Yep. They pulled just a little bit too close. And the problem with these is there's... There's no tow points, so we'll do the same thing we did on the other. What's up, puppy? <laughs> All right, let's get it. Same thing as the other one. This is how we have it around the control arm. Actually, this one, you're not. I'm not sure what you would call this. It's not really a control arm. It's kind of essentially an axle, but but not really subframe. Maybe I don't know. Somebody correct me. Tell me what you call this part that we hooked to. But um, same thing. You get the axle strap around it, D ring, tree saver, and then that'll come back out. I'm gonna hook up a soft shackle back to the kinetic rope to the receiver shackle. Do you work here? Or? I do not work here, but I'm out here all the time, and this is this is what I do is just off-road okay, recovery so stuff. Okay. Yeah, what's that? How much money no, it's free. It's free. We. No, you don't. It's okay. I uh, think my niece she has stuck in the other side too. Right now? Yeah. Oh, where? Oh, okay, I'll, I'll get her next. All right, I'm about to give him a tug. I'm a little concerned because that means I have to go into this stuff to get him out. And uh, this stuff is wet. Look, this is where somebody else got stuck. So there is there is a chance that I'm about to get stuck, but I could at least winch off of somebody else if need be. All right, buddy. So what do you need me to do? Put it in reverse and then... Uh, problem all right easy i didn't spend too much so uh, soft he's under here disconnecting it for me that's cool all right i guess uh, there's another one over here somewhere we're gonna go find that one and, and pull them out as well all right well we found the other one it was right beside it it almost looks like the car we pulled out earlier but this was kia so soft sand that's all it takes that's all it takes. So same, same deal. Luckily this one's not as buried in the mud so I can get under there a little bit easier with that back end up like it is. We will get it. Roll your, roll the window down. Yeah, keep the window down so you can hear me. Oh, yeah. um, Start moving. Just give it a little bit of gas. Don't don't floor it. Don't get crazy. But just give it a little bit of gas. Okay. Um, and then uh, as soon as we get over there, 
I'll honk and then we stop. My phone's overheating out here. It's like 105 degrees and I set my phone up. I think I missed my last shot. It's my phone overheated. But I will get him. You want me to get it? Oh, you can't do it with that. <laughs> no, I got it. I'll, I'll get you guys out. Just, just hang tight. <laughs> that thing is only good for 500 pounds. So I got it. Oh, all right, hold on. Hey. I'll pull it. I'll pull it. I'll, I'll pull it. I got it. I'll get it. all right we got another one this is like i don't know my fifth or sixth one for today this is bad out here but five five or six for today we're just leaving the equipment hooked up at this point only problem is is this really isn't rated to be to be yanking off of so we're gonna want to get under there to the axle but i'll get i'll get it hooked up it should be all right all right, so this is the problem we have with this one. The axle has all these brake lines right there. If I hook an axle strap to that, it's gonna damage one of those. So we went right to the frame with a D-ring and an axle strap. And then that way I could pull out right here. If it was any more stuck than what it is, I would hook to both of those on, on this side as well. And then run a V and connect like I usually do, but this one is not really that bad. It's gonna be a real light pull. Uh, but like I said, if it was more stuck than this, I would definitely be connecting to, to both toe points. But uh, this is my fifth or sixth recovery in the last two hours, so we're, we're putting in work out here. It's hot. It is hot. I'm sweating. Dirty as could be now. But uh, putting it work. Like just in the last hour, I I saw one get stuck. That minivan. That's I called it. I was like, it looks like he's a little too close. But uh, he was stuck. And then right when I got them done, that other car I saw was stuck. It was funny. The people were like, oh, we got some friends on the other side that are stuck. And uh, I went to go find them and I ran into that black car and I thought that's who they were talking about, but that, that wasn't even them. It's funny, that little black car, that's Kia. I, I, it looked like a Ford Fiesta or a Focus to me, but uh, I didn't pay that much attention to it. But that was the second one time we pulled her out. It was, it was super funny. She's such a nice lady. I told her, I was like, anything dark, stay out of it. Uh, I forgot to tell her about the deep sand. So she got stuck twice. She was like, I am not coming back here anymore. <laughs> Uh, you know, you, you learn though, you learn real quick, you know, what your vehicle is capable of, so. But uh, I think it's 3.30 only, you know, it's only 3.30 out here, so. I'm sure I will at least get a few more by the end of the day. Um, this place stays busy until about 9, 10 o'clock at night, so. A couple more recoveries, putting in work. Um, everybody's super thankful. Um, you know, it's it's free. I don't charge anything. I probably could have made 50, 60 bucks from taking tips. A couple of the people were real insistent that I took some money from them, but that's, that's not why we do it. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with taking tips, but I, I don't come out here to make money. I just come out here to fart around, do some recoveries and gain some experience and shoot, shoot YouTube videos. So hopefully one day uh, YouTube will, will take off and I'll make my money on that and that's the goal. The water level is so low. This is usually all underwater. This this should never be here. Well, you can see where the water level normally is, way up there. It's pretty bad. It's the worst I've ever seen it. And the, 
10 years, 15 years I've been coming here. Big old Yoda over there. He was thinking about it. He creeped up to it for a second. And then he, uh, he was like, nah, let me back out. Smart man. I wouldn't try it. Even though, like I said, it does look like somebody made it, but it's not worth risking it when you can just go around. He's thinking about it. Oh, he's he's going to be done for. Uh, he's speeding up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's not too bad. It's harder right there. The problem is with that, I bet you he's gonna get brave. He's gonna try it again from a different spot and then it ain't gonna be so dry. This looks like this might be our first guy to go across it. Let's see if he makes it. He's got a little bit of speed. I'm zoomed in a lot, so it's like super shaky right here, but. Ah, he's second guessing it. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Dang, he made it. Yeah, I'm really impressed he's actually making it that far. It's going close to the water's edge though. crappy video I know. well I caught it he's stuck in there driving driving too close to the water we'll get it I was watching him <laughs> all right let's see yo all right so this is how we have it tree saver both toe points soft shackle it's the four inch strap, soft shackle, seven eighth kinetic rope, and then receiver shackle. Should be one or two pulls, I imagine. We got another one <laughs> all day out here. We just got done pulling that guy out. And, uh, she walked over to me and said, they're stuck, it's not bad at all. This is gonna be a super easy pull. Well, we got another one. He's the most stuck one for the day. So we'll hook up, slap one of my receiver hitches in there. That's why it's always good to carry two of them. So nobody ever has one. <laughs> Well, that was easy. These shackles is it's the best thing to use, closed loop system. I carry two of them. And that way, I always have what I need. Easy deal. Well, it looks like today's my lucky day. I get me a new Ford Bronco. This is the small one. This isn't the big one, but he said it's brand new. This is how you break it in, right? Come out here, see what it's capable of. But this stuff is slick. It's nasty. I'm trying to find the tow hook right now for it. And then uh, get it down, get it hooked up, and we'll get it out. All right, just listen for the first honk. Give it a little bit of gas. Make sure your traction control is off. Gotcha. Do a little bit of gas. <laughs> it's it's muddy. Got her out. Good deal, good deal. I'll get it disconnected. Still has the new car smell in it. 
hey, first week I had my Jeep, I ripped off the rock rail on the side of it out wheeling. That's how you learn. It's funny, look at all these failed attempts. I think that was the one I did earlier, that white Tacoma. And we got these, and there's more over here. I mean, you would think with seeing all these other ruts that don't make it, that would give you a hint. But, live and learn. I'm calling it a day. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. If you guys like this type of stuff, hit the subscribe button. You know, I'm new to YouTube. I will say I'm probably not the best video editor out there, but uh, I believe the content is solid. You know, I love doing this type of stuff, but definitely appreciate you guys. If you want any of this gear that I'm using, rhinousainc.com, enter the discount code 4x4rescue. Thanks, guys.